Lisa Capallo. Welcome to Where's Wilmington? And today I have the incredible pleasure of interviewing and meeting with Rex Trailer and his friend and producer of this DVD I'm holding, which we're going to be talking about today, which is Boomtown Gold, and that's Mike Vavaro. Thank you both for being with us. It's great being with you. Now, you were on my show, I was. I'm on your show. I know, the tables have turned. Isn't I'll try to something? be just as good to you as you were to me. <laughs> Deal? And I'm proud of it. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about this DVD, and I know you're here in Wilmington also to do a lecture, part of a lecture series, but tell me a little bit about the DVD first, and then we'll actually watch some clips from that. Well, the DVD is actually actually a compilation of 20 years of Boomtown Hard encapsulated into two hours. And uh, uh, Mike Bavaro is a filmmaker from New York and we collaborated on a few productions that we did at Channel 5 and at the end of it he said, you know, we have to get together and preserve all of the things that are left of Boomtown. Why do you feel that's important? Why did you feel that was an important thing to do? That's Mike's question. All right, we'll give it to Mike. Yeah. Well, I grew up in Milford, Massachusetts, so I watched Boomtown growing up, but never got to go on the show. And it made me curious as to how television worked. Uh, it looked like a real Western town, but I heard it was all painted scenery. And, uh, you know, I never got to go, but I, I ended up getting into the business because of it. And when I met Rex, um, I wanted to see the old shows. But he said that they were all live, nothing was saved. So I thought if we could interview people, tell stories with pictures and whatever surviving clips we could find, we would um, preserve a piece of television history. And you found that people were quite responsive and had a lot of nostalgic feelings about the Boomtown experience. You know, I knew how I felt about it and I knew that there must be other people who felt the same way. And once we started, the floodgates opened. I mean, everybody wanted to be in it. People had home movies. Uh, I found footage on eBay from what, before wow. Boomtown, when he was on in Philadelphia. And it, it just snowballed, and even Rex started pulling up films out of his basement that wow. weren't video, but they were films that were used within the show, and so that helped tell the story. And actually, let's look at a clip of uh, some of this to see how folks did feel about the Boomtown experience. It's pretty amazing how it unites people with how you feel about your childhood. You can go right back into it. So let's roll that clip from Boomtown Gold and see a little bit about what folks feel about the Boomtown experience. Well, I was a big fan of Rex Trailer. Watched them all the time. And I remember as a kid coming in here and walking into Boomtown. That was like the biggest thrill of my life. And over the years, I've met presidents, mayors, governors, actors, actresses, songwriters, singers. And the only person I ever got goofy over was Rex Trailer. I mean, I was that five-year-old kid again when he walked into here. My first memory of Rex Trailer, I think, it was probably a Saturday morning show. I think it was suddenly on television, live. We had a real cowboy for change. Everybody wanted to be a cowboy. It didn't matter where you grew up. You get to ride on the range, and you had a horse, and you get to carry guns, and you never had to go to school. You were free spirit on the wide open plains of America. Take off the cowboy hat, take away everything, you've got just a great sense. I think that's what people in Boston are going to remember about Rex Trailer years down the road. People are going to remember him as a great television personality and a great cowboy and so forth. But when all is said and done, the legacy of Rex Trailer is going to be that he was a good citizen in New England. The essence of cool. When I was a kid, it was Rex Trail. I mean, if you can just jump on your horse and swing a rope and sing a song with a guitar, what is cooler than that? He was absolutely cool. I mean, you know, if you, if you weren't that cool, you watched Big Brother. But if you're really cool, you watched, uh, you watched Rex. Rex showed up, and here's a big live TV star on stage. I got to meet him in person and shake hands, which was like a huge deal when you were a kid. This is Rex Trailer. If there were 300 kids that he made you feel, you were the only one there. He had that quality that very few people have that's almost unspoken integrity. Every kid I know wanted to be on Boontown. I was on Boontown, I'll never forget it. There were no black cowboys, and I was the black Rex trailer. I had envisioned myself as Rex trailer. I thought I was going to be the top dog. Mostly I remember watching it and knowing the song. I learned the song, or part of the song. Well, I know part of it. Uh... Come on, boys and girls, and oh, I remember this. Howdy there, folks. We're glad to meet you or greet you. We're glad to see you, in. Glad uh, to no, see you. No. What? No, meet you. Meet you. I can hum it, but I can't remember the words. Da, 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 in boom, boom, boom time. It's coming back. 
Yeah, your jaw, you're going in my head now, yeah. Now, if I remember correctly, it goes, well, I'll be there, folks, we're glad to meet you in boom, boom, boom town. There's a bunch of folks who'd like to greet you in boom, boom, boom town. You can bet we'll have lots of western fun and excitement for you. We'll ride in rope to a square dance and shoot a gun and we'll sing a song or two. Come along, folks, cause we're gonna start the fun and boom, boom, boom town. From six to sixty, there's something for everyone and boom, boom, boom town. So do si do and swing around. Get your gal and promenade down. How fun was that? Ah, uh, yes, those were the good old days. How do you feel watching that? For me, it's a different experience than it must be for you. So what does it feel like to see? Seems like yesterday really? when we started. That was 50 years ago. Amazing. <laughs> it really is. Amazing. Yeah. Tell me, Mike, how long it took you to compile all of this. And this has been nominated for an Emmy, actually, Boomtown Gold. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's been nominated for a New England Emmy for Best Historical Documentary. And um, it took me about two years to put it all together, um, just because it took time to uh, arrange interviews, find footage. Uh, when I would find, when I thought the thing would be done, suddenly some new footage would surface and I'd have to open it up and put that in and, and make it all work. So we finally, we, we get an air date. WBZ uh, agreed to put it on the air last summer. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what it's nominated for, was for the broadcast. And um, so we had a deadline. We had to get it to air. And uh, so we finished it. It aired June 18th, 2005. And um, we wrapped it up, put it to bed. And this DVD has the long version. The okay. broadcast version was only 45 minutes. This is an hour. And then it's got an extra hour of bonus footage that didn't make it into the film, but it's still great stuff to watch. And where can folks pick this up? They can get that on the web at rextrailer.com or rextrailer.tv. OK. Yeah. Now, I know, Mr. Trailer, you're coming uh, May 19th to see us here in Wilmington. I at, certainly uh, am. Looking forward to it. The Wilmington it, Middle School, I believe, and that's through the Sarah Carter Committee. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be talking about? Uh, anything and everything. All right. Uh, because there, uh, I have never done a show that was exactly like the other show. OK. And uh, so I can't really predict what I'm going to be talking about. But uh, Frank West, who was uh, with us here today, he's around the studio. Uh, he is uh, going to be a very big part of it. He's going to be asking me questions that uh, many people have been asking him to ask me. You're so going to be singing? I will. You I'll will? Bring, I'll bring my guitar along. Excellent. So Excellent. I'll be singing a lot of the songs that I wrote for the show. Excellent. As well and as, I know uh, that's going to be 7 p.m. on Friday night, and it's free to the public, which is great. So, you know, folks get down there and take a look at that. I know also that you teach at Emerson College, too. I've been there 29 years now. Excellent. And uh, when Boomtown went off, uh, they asked me to come and teach at Emerson. And I said, teach? Uh, you think I'm qualified? And they said, well, you have been teaching the Emerson kids on Boomtown, because all of the assistants on Boomtown were from Emerson. And so they said, you've been doing it right along. Why not continue? Excellent. So it's funny how the world is I kind of a it. circle. That's great. And you really enjoy it. I love it. Who, Back when I was on my grandfather's ranch, who would have thunk <laughs> that I would have been a professor at a very fine college like Emerson? And a New England icon as well. We're going to take our break at this point. We'll be back with more with Rex Trailer and his friend and producer, Mike Bavaro. We're going to talk a little bit more about this video, DVD, that you can pick up, Boomtown Gold. And we're going to show you some more clips from that when we come back. So please stay with us.
The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. It takes a man to be a dad. I heard about this company dumping toxins in local rivers, and I called their executives to say stop. But they were too busy counting profits while the rivers were being destroyed, birds and fish are dying, and the local kids are getting cancer. So I organized a huge protest, and we actually got the company shut down. But now half the town's unemployed, and the kids are twice as sick since they can't get health care, since their parents lost the insurance they had when they worked for the company and dumped all the toxins in the first place. You're watching WCTV, Wilmington Community Television. Hello, welcome back. We are here for Where's Wilmington. Exciting, exciting things going on here today. I have Rex Trailer with me. I'm sure you all know who that is. And along next to him is Mike Bavaro, and he is the producer and creator, pretty much, except for the stuff Absolutely. that you did. Absolutely, he created it. I, I would have nothing <laughs> yeah, to say. Of this DVD <laughs> called Boomtown Gold. And we're going to show you some more clips from that so you can see what's available. Then when we come back from that, we're going to tell you a little bit more about the 50 years of Boomtown and uh, the tour that's going to be kicked off from that. So let's look at some more of this great DVD about Boomtown. Hoofbeats, hoofbeats, thunder across the prairie wide. Hoofbeats, 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 ride, cowboy ride. Covered wagons were a-rolling out along the trail on the way to the Golden West. The engines were a-raiding them until they heard the hoofbeats of the cavalry's best. Hoofbeats, 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 thunder across the prairie wide. Big gang we've got here today. Right. Well, it's good to have everybody with us today. I'd like to thank our two lovely cowgirls over here, Judy and Alex, for helping out with Gold Rush. We've got the old get fiddle here and a whole Boomtown posse to welcome. And we're gonna have a lot of fun right now. I wanna get uh, somebody's missing again. Where's Sergeant Billy? Hurry up! Look out, Gold Bill! Oh, wow. Well, I guess he's not the superhero that he thought he was. Howdy, kids! Howdy! Oh, boy, I gotta work on that jump a little bit. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I gotta tone up my muscles. You know, it's tough being a superstar. <laughs> okay, everybody join in and sing along with our hometown theme song. for lots of fun and excitement today in Boomtown, USA. It's coming your way, so don't go away. How do your folks Now, Katie, I promised you I'd teach you how to do a rope trick here. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I showed people how to make a Honda knot. That's that little loop that goes in the rope. And this part is called the handle. This part is called the loop. And all you have to do is hold on to this part, and then you throw it out like that, and then start it spinning around. But you have to twist it around in your hands. Okay, now let's see if you can keep it going there, Katie. All right, hold it there, just like that. Hey, you're doing good, Katie. You're doing good. All right, you're on your own, Katie. Oh, what happened, Katie? Oh, oh my goodness. Came to a screeching halt. Well, okay, that's your, just your first lesson. Step back here. We'll show you a few other little rope tricks. Here, this one is called a butterfly. Okay, now we'll get this butterfly around. Well, that is some pretty fancy lassoing you were doing there. That is pretty neat stuff that you were doing. 
that is uh, a different kind of rope than a lasso. Okay. Lasso is, is a stiffer rope and use that for catching cattle and calves. And uh, this type of uh, loop that I'm using there is a rope made of cotton. It's uh, called uh, Samson uh, and uh, Samson spot cord. And so it's, it enables you to spin that out and uh, be able to jump inside and jump out. All so it's like that. a trick rope rather than something you would use for the animals. For calf, calf roping, Okay, yeah. you learned all that on your grandfather's farm in Texas, right? My grandfather's ranch, yeah. Okay. He was a, he uh, raised uh, something called quarter horses. Are you familiar with that? Somewhat. Yeah, a lot of folks don't know what quarter horses are. They think they're a quarter of a horse. But they're quarter horses because they can run very fast, the quarter of a mile. Now, was your horse, Gold Rush, a quarter horse or a different kind? Part quarter horse. Uh, and before that, uh, when I was trick riding in the rodeos, I was using a pure quarter horse. His name was Bamboo, and he was bamboo color, and he was much shorter than the one I uh, have here. And you still ride? I do. And what's your horse's name that you ride now? Gold Rush 3. Oh, oh so you've <laughs> actually outlived two other Gold Rushes. Uh, you might say that. Yeah. All right. And as the song says, Boomtown is coming our way. So, Mike, tell us about Boomtown's coming again. Well, uh, we just, it was the 50th anniversary on April 28th. So we're, Rex is going to go around uh, from town to town like he did when we were growing up, starting here in Wilmington, May 19th. Right. And uh, from there, he'll be at, in Somerville at the Holiday Inn uh, on the 20th for comedy night with, uh, with Kevin Knox. And uh, then he's going to be at the Natick Fourth of July Parade on his horse, Gold Rush. Neat. Indian Ranch, June 11th, um, part of a, a, a 60th anniversary of Indian Ranch in Webster, Massachusetts. But all the dates are listed on the website. Which is? RexTrailer.tv or .com. You'll get there either way. Either or. Yeah. And the, the cost for the DVD is? Nineteen ninety five. So that's very reasonable for what you're really getting here. Absolutely. I yeah. mean, you know, you get the film, plus you get an extra hour of footage that hasn't been seen in 50 years. And, and you can't put a price on the feeling you're going to get from watching it. No, because, sure. you know, back then you were lucky if you had an 8mm camera, so right. a lot of people find themselves in that footage right. where they have no home movies. You know, that is amazing, Mike, uh, how many people come up to me and say, I got the DVD and I found myself. Yeah. Uh, they were on the show, as you were. Right, right. And they watched the DVD and all of a sudden they're looking and, oh my God, that's me. There I am, yeah. living color. Most of it was shot in color, correct? The, the Rex Trailer show? Some of it in black uh, and white? That didn't come until late in the 60s, uh, about 67. Okay. And that's when we went color and then. Uh, right to 74. Mm -hmm. Do there's you more, miss, go ahead. I'm sorry, there's more color footage from the show because that's what was preserved, but there is some black and white from earlier days. Which is always nice to see yeah. where we've come from. Do you miss doing the show and would you do it again if they said do it again? In a heartbeat. You would? In a heartbeat. Really? It was the greatest experience I ever had. We had more fun. You know, and Sergeant Billy, Cactus Pete, and uh, my original sidekick was Pablo. Right. We had nothing but fun. And by the way, the shows were three hours long. Wow. Uh, from 7 to 10 on Saturday and 7 to 10 on Sunday. And interestingly enough, not a word was written. So you no did script. the whole thing off the cuff. It, it was all ad lib. So very different than what we do today. Uh, Definitely. So you were the original reality TV, really. Hey, that, that's good. Really, and, it's true. Uh, yeah. It's true. And well, you feel free to use it. <laughs> well, you know, the Museum of Television and Radio in New York City, when I first started this project, I called them, and they called him. They said, oh, he's a pioneer in children's TV. And I right. thought, oh, you're from Boston? But, the, you know, every TV was local back then, and every station in the, in the country had a children's personality. And Rex was an original because he was a real cowboy. He did the show live. There was, there was no script. It was all ad lib. And now this film and its archives lives at the Museum of Television and Radio. So we can have it forever. Yeah. 
Excellent. And uh, certainly uh, my show was the only one on TV that had a live horse in the studio. Right. Which and all, every time while, you did was, it, because pardon? now we see every time you did the show, there was a live animal there. Sometimes yeah. shows will do one little segment. Quarter corner. Yeah. But you do it all the. You did it all the time. Yeah, we. Uh, some things that we were very uh, interested in were teaching the kids respect for animals, and uh, if they are going to have a pet, like a dog, cat, rabbit, or hamster, that they're taking a life into their hands that they are now responsible for that animal throughout its entire life until it dies. And a lot of kids didn't realize that until we brought it out in the show and told them that that was an obligation of theirs to take care of that animal. That's an excellent life lesson. Yeah, that helps certainly. you with your relationships later on everywhere. If you can learn respect for the smaller things, no question. the bigger things will be easier. Yeah, respect is uh, one of the things I used to really feature on the show. Respect for one's parents. Uh, I got very upset uh, watching some of these uh, so-called uh, comedy situation right. shows where the husband and the father was always a buffoon. Right. Uh, that's not the way we it is. We need to return and to a more gentler, more honest, yep. more accountable time, I think. Of course. And yeah. so I, I taught the kids to respect their parents, their teachers, uh, policemen, firemen, right. those who were there to help them. And obviously and it worked because look at me, I'm okay. <laughs> You're terrific. <laughs> so I want to Better thank you. Okay. I want to thank you very much for being with us. Mike, would you tell our folks watching today again where they can see Rex and also the website and where they can pick sure. up this DVD? Uh, come on down next Friday, May 19th at the uh, Wilmington Middle School, 7 p.m. Rex will be there. It's open free to the public. He's going to be giving away some prizes if you can remember uh, certain trivia questions about the show Excellent. and he'll be singing and telling great stories like the day the tiger got loose on the set a Bengal tiger got loose on the set and turned on its trainer and Rex well you'll have to come down yeah, to you guys have to come and hear about yeah. it but you'll tell me off if you want to right? hear what it or <laughs> actually find out what happened Excellent. Yeah, great Excellent. stories. Yeah. I thank you so much for being with us today. Lisa, really appreciate great. your time. Folks, get yeah. out there and see Rex Trailer if you haven't already, like me when I was a kid. Great thing to bring the family to. Just a good, wholesome, healthy night for you and your family. So get out to Wilmington to the Middle School on May 19th. Mm -hmm. That's a Friday night. And you can get more information on your website, which is... RexTrailer.tv Excellent. We're going to close for today, and uh, please watch us again here on Where's Wilmington. I'm Lisa Gopala, and I wish you the best.